Alright, so welcome back. So, we defeated the Overlord who was killed and then revived by one of those demon general things that were for uh, Void Dark. I don't remember was it. Was it Void Dark? I don't remember. Anyways, the bad guy that we're all trying to kill. Um, and it seemed like it was the final map of this area, so we decided to take a break there just before we got the scenes. So, let's see what happens now. And there was also a mention of a girl with a yellow printy who happens to be on some of the art I've seen for this game, so she's probably one of the characters. So, let's uh, see what happens. Now for the finisher! Wait! Hey! Why are you interfering with Red Magnus? I have an idea. Even though he's rotten, he's still an overlord. We could use him. What do you have in mind? We can use it to our advantage. Even though he's dead, we can use an Overlord's corpse in battle. Are you trying to turn this corpse into an ally? Not an ally per se. We can simply incorporate him into our strategy for defeating Void Dark. To even use a dead guy in your machinations, you're just like a demon! Oh, right. You, you are a demon. Ultimately, this is all for us to attain victory. We must use any means we can. Right? Ugh, this is simply the worst. I must shower immediately before that rotten stench affixes itself to me. Oh, Red Magnus agrees. We found a demon general, but she made us fight zombies. But worst of all is Demon General Margarita. She killed an overlord and turned him into a puppet. That alone is truly horrifying. We have to do something about her quick, or else she's only going to make things more complicated for us. What's wrong, Sir Kilia? Are you going to say that you can't fight women or children? N no, it's not that. Good. We can't show any mercy to the enemy. If they face us, we must take them all on, regardless of their age or gender. As one who's aiming to become the strongest overlord, Red Magnus would prefer not to face women or kids. But... A brat who murders an overlord and turns him into a zombie needs to be punished by an adult! But even though she may look like a child, she is a demon general. To be honest, I didn't expect her to be that strong. At this rate, we won't even stand a chance against the Demon Generals, let alone Void Dark. Not to worry. Having the Supreme One, Red Magnus, on your side will be a tremendous help. I'll super beat anyone up! Let's just leave the Musclehead who only wants to cause mayhem alone. We need to come up with a strategy to defeat the Demon General. Power. Don't let that bring you down. If we don't have enough power, then we simply need to collect more. What do you mean? Even though we're rebels, we are nothing but gnats to Demon Emperor Void Dark. We are so tiny to him, he won't even take notice of us. But if we can gain more numbers and become an organization, we'll become a great power indeed. An organization? Are you suggesting that we become a rebel army? Yes. This is a perfect opportunity to create a rebel army, since everyone has a common enemy. Demon Emperor Void Dark. A rebel army? Not bad. But I'll be going it alone from now on. I'm not fond of teaming up. Can you stop that thing where you shoot me in the back? Did I not mention that you are mine, Sir Kilia? I will not allow you to act selfishly. She's right. It's foolish to act on your own. If we can organize a rebel army, our chances of defeating Void Dark will rise incredibly. Why would you want to set off on your own and lower our chances? Shouldn't we do whatever it takes to defeat Void Dark? 
Therefore, let us organize a rebel army. Kilia, do you find any flaw in what I'm saying? If someone's with me, they might just end up dying too. So, we'll organize a rebel army to strengthen our strategy. Is everyone fine with that? If it means Void Dark will die, then I will use a rebel army or anything else for that matter. And if I may add to that, I am always open to welcoming more servants. Oops, I let the truth slip out. <laughs> Red Magnus doesn't quite super understand everything, but we're gonna beat up Void Dark, right? Then count him in! Great, it's settled. We should start by coming up with a name for our rebel army. <laughs> who, who is it? Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> what you looking around for? I'm right here! A mysterious man suddenly appears. Is he friend or foe? Please look forward to next week! According to historians, Demon Emperor Void Dark advanced and spread his forces like hellfire fanning its flames. Merciless and chaotic, later historians describe this advance as a disgusting epidemic of violence and death. While everyone's hopes began crumbling, no one was aware of the beacon of rebellion that was lit in spirit interment. I am Serafina of Nether Institute, Evil Academy's inaugural class. With my beauty and 1.8 million IQ, I charm all men, but only one person can be destined for me. Now, to fight for my love, a massive battle royale is about to begin. The one who will super win Sarah's love is me, the strongest of the top dogs at this academy. <laughs> The one who deserves Serafina's love is me, the chairman of the Discipline Club. <laughs> Wrong. Serafina's love is all mine. The new transfer student and her childhood friend, Kilia. Next time on Netherworld Academy Disgaea, Episode 3, Battle Roy Love. My beauty is a sin. You're gonna ignore me? I need love too. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta love Seraphine. She's probably my favorite, and that laugh is amazing too. A silver-eyed, hungry wolf wanders the wasteland. The solitude-loving Gale Force Overlord Zerokin is here. Now stand back, amateurs. It's my sworn duty to fight the Lost. Uh, huh? Where are all the Lost? You're a little late, there, kid. We've already super beat them up! What? Y you guys really beat up the Lost? Yes, that's correct. My servants and I did. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> you guys are pretty good! I'll cut you guys some slack today. We'll meet again! He must have taken Remarkable Parting Shots 101. He said he was an overlord, but he reeks of being a small fry. Do such overlords exist? I don't know. Whoever he is, doesn't make any difference to me. Episode 3. His name is Zerokin. Sir Kilia, you're not thinking of fighting Void Dark all by yourself again, are you? And what if I am? What are you gonna do about it? Sir Kilia, you are mine. I will use all my force to stop you. Even with your strength, it's reckless to fight Void Dark all by yourself. You'll be throwing away your life. 
Those guys are unbelievable. To think Red Magnus wanted to get them to join our rebel army. They just took off. Red Magnus, were you really trying to recruit them? It looked more to me like you were threatening them. What's going on here, you guys? Is this a party? It's gotta be a party! This is nothing. It was merely a lover's quarrel. So, do you guys have any good news? No. Everyone simply walks away as soon as they hear Void Dark's name. It seems like Void Dark's plan is working to perfection. At this rate, it's only a matter of time until all of the Netherworlds are taken over. Gilia, nice timing, dude. You can now use the Squad Shop now. Finally finished organizing my files, let me apologize for making you wait. You are now able to use the squad shop, so please come by. Kilia, you can now call a meeting of the strategy assembly, dude. Excellent. There you can discuss serious topics and get your bills approved, dude. Prepare a lot of mana and items, and then talk to the receptions. Planar, dude. I'll be waiting. Establish the boot camp squad. Okay, cool. So... Uh, I believe the squad stuff, so I was actually wondering when this would be unlocked, uh... Because you can basically put, uh... The way it's worked in other games, essentially you organize your team in a layout. So imagine it like a grid and you can place them where you want. And people who are next to each other get bonuses based off of each other. So for example, if you put Kilia as part of a group that gets experience, everybody shares experience, the experience that he would get in that group type thing. So that's what I'm assuming this is, so let's find awesome. out. Awesome! Yeah, so squads are getting different effects. So there we go. Uh, so let's organize a squad. We don't care about capture. Capture is basically you throw enemies back into the spawn point and then you basically capture them as a person for your party. I'd rather make my own to be completely honest. Um, That's useless. Uh, what does life support do? Perform a rolling jump. some people in the ones we don't really use. We're not going to use geese. Probably him. I'm going to leave it at that for now, I guess. The use of capture. We don't care about capturing though, but we'll make funny bingo guy our leader. Unless they just make people part of the same group. I don't think you can be part of two groups at once. 
so interrogation squad will make uh, Seraphina the leader of the interrog interrogation squad. But I'm wondering if just them being part of a group gives you those bonuses, but I find that unlikely. Um, Choice do we have really? It would be nice to unlock more useful squads. Nice, we can get an archer. Probably have that already, really. Don't have that much health. No, I guess we don't have uh, the 200 int on a character yet. Um, maybe we can okay. learn new squads from the strategy assembly. So the assembly is basically you can like make um, enemies stronger, weaker, uh, reincarnate characters. Yep, that's right. I forgot almost about that. Subclass. That I do not know what that is. I'm not familiar with subclass. That's fine. That's just on the next map. So yeah, so these are all just little bonuses you can get. Some of them are permanent, some of them are just for the next map, as you can see. Here we go, so this is the one we need. Build a squad remembers get a portion of the leader's XP earned. We need these two, these two are very important, so let's try to get one of these. Yeah, 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 we, we don't need to bribe anybody though. Because we, we had a 74% success rate, so... Total support... Strongly for, total support, total support, strongly for. So yeah, no one's against us, so just begin the vote. Start now! Yeah. Uh, oh, even if we're oh, fine, we should be fine. So, yeah, there we go. So we have that one, then we need the mana one too, because that one's important as well. Maybe we'll use Crystal, because he's got a lot of stuff. Um, where was that one? Here we go. I want a trophy. <laughs> nice, you can just get a trophy from that. Cool. Um, 
and the map edit shop. Also, you can make uh, maps as well, just like in is it four? I think four. You could make your own maps and share them with other people. But let's see if anybody is any of the senators are against this here. Uh, no, they all look like they're pretty much. Oh no, this one here. Let's try to bribe her with something. Not interested in anything. Oh, mana potion. Alright. There we go. So now let's begin the vote. And based so off the level of the center, that impacts how much of sway they have too, so if you have one that's like really high level, you'll want to get that one to be in support of you regardless. Like if you had like a level 2 one, you wouldn't really care because they wouldn't really make much of a difference. Uh, so now we can tweak our squads again. Awesome! Now that we have the good squads, I just don't know how to level up these squads that I'm not familiar with. Um, so you can put four members in each of them. Um, I wonder if you can. I don't know if they can be part of two squads though. Assign prisoners to each squad's backup squad to strengthen it. What are prisoners? I'm not sure what that means by prisoners. But anyways, um, for the XP one, we were going to put Kilia as the leader, and to leech experience off of Kilia, we'll put... No, he can get his own experience. Daisy. The thing is, we want these guys to get mana. Like we, we, we're not, not too worried about them getting experience. Uh, she needs experience, though. She's not doing well. And he's fine. He's fine. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. And then the channeling squad, we need mana here, so we'll do that. How much mana do they get though? It says gain a portion, 10%. Mm, it's fine, I guess. Let's see, Kyoko, Vincent, and. need to find the treasure chest because this is a new chapter so there should be three treasure chests somewhere in the pocket netherworld so people can find those. Oh there's one right there. Blind. Okay, so one should be two more. Oh there's one right there. One more somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Okay, so that should be all of them. Um, let's talk to Seraphina here. According to my data, Void Dark has taken control of one third of all Netherworlds. One third. One third. I don't get it, but that means it involves a three and a one, so it can't be that much, right? It's a super huge amount, plus at a super ridiculous rate. Correct. Looking at this from a historic perspective, no single force has ever controlled this much of the netherworld. At this rate, the entire netherworld will fall into Void Dark's hands within a year. What are the other overlords doing? They're completely useless. Wahaha, <laughs> they're probably scared and super trembling in fear. How pitiful of all the known overlords to just stand around with their arms crossed and do nothing. We're in the same situation. We haven't reached Void Dark yet. It's pitiful. At our current strength, we can only disrupt the Lost's invasion. 
But if we can gain more strength through the rebel army, we'll have a chance of winning. We must pool our strength and fight together. Pool our strength together. Kill seems to be coming around to that. Anyways, uh, we'll take a break here. I don't think Let's we need to heal, because normally when you start a new chapter, you get healed up fully anyway. Um, and we aren't going to take the prizes, because they're just usable items. Not a big deal. Um, so we still don't have access the to the item, item world, world's full of surprises. Yeah. The item world, basically, you can level up any weapon. Or actually, any item. doesn't have to be a weapon. See how they're all like level zero? Um, you can level up any item. Make an archer. Okay, right, so we'll take a break there, and next time we'll continue on with the story. Uh, and I might make a character or two, I don't know. Uh, so until then, thanks for watching.